And yet. <laughs> oh. And yet. I would like to make it clear that's not my recipe, and I've already made like four things rolling? that I want to adjust to it. I like them. Oh. That was nice. Can I have an Allen wrench? How do I stop this from rising? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, sit down, no. sit down. I'll handle it. It's fine. We're fine. good. He's got it. A pro. This man is a podcasting that's professional, bro. That's right. Hello. Hello, hello, While hello. we're talking as well, so that you can hear her <laughs> over us as well. Is that better? I'm fucking steezy. I feel like days. they're only mid because they're crunchy. They also could use like half a teaspoon more molasses and like one teaspoon of nutmeg. They I could also use chocolate chips and regular cookie dough. Yeah. <laughs> I think gingerbread is oh. a cookie dough. <laughs> yep. I think gingerbread is a... <laughs> Back on my podcast, mm. wow. he yeah. lays he lays claim and ownership. Yeah, I, know. I am so tired of people coming into my interpersonal space and going, "Hey, well, well, will you go come on the podcast? You stream twelve hours a day, bro." Anyway, I'd like to introduce I- our guest of the week. Will Neff is here. <laughs> Man, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Can we unpack something really quick? I yeah. think this is important. We were talking about this in the kitchen, and I think that, Hassan, you don't tell Will that you love him enough. That's true. And true. So, I agree. And I think he's valid, and I want you to look at him, and I want you to tell him how you really feel about him as a friend. Now, yeah, surprise. On, on this is the, the relationship counseling episode. On the yard, do you guys have someone who needs to be babied and like told all the time that you love them? I think it's actually it's me. I was going to say, I think it's Slime. <laughs> yeah. Slime will sit there, and he'll be like, guys, listen up. This week, I'm precious still, right? Yeah, I do. I need reassurance because Ludwig, as Cutie can attest, uh-huh. sometimes is a little closed off. He is. And you need to draw out you know, that from him. The number one conversation Ludwig and I have to have is I say, hey, Lud, just so you know, you do. You, I need you to ask me every day how I am. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> how are you, Will? Here we go. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, Will, we don't do that here. We no, don't that's what do I that. Do. Yeah, yeah, good job. You tell him what you really think now. I'm fine. Oh. How do you really think? How do you really eye. feel? I don't know. There's some really great movies in theaters right now. Maybe we can go to one someday. You want to go watch Avatar on Sunday? Avatar? <laughs> oh, <here we> Spit <laughs> in my face. What about the menu or the whale? I want to see both of those. And then Frasier is back. Avatar. Oh, I want to watch so Avatar. Long. Long. You want to see it? I do. It's I want to watch. I definitely want to watch Avatar. Wow, a sweet experience. My dad took me to Jimmy Kimmel, and we had to listen to That's the producer. The, the more the you actor. talk about it, the worse I'm feeling yeah, no, about my right. support for the bad. Avatar. The sad thing about Andrea, she wasn't even born when the first one came out. That, that is tough. tough. <laughs> That's that is what? tough. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, she's, I she's actually 12. have a very vivid memory of watching Avatar in theaters when it came out, but I'm guessing it was the second, dude. One. See, I told you it's going to be hard. I told you. Every time I have the Why don't we trade? Yep. I'm always the one who needs I'm, the mic away I'm an from expert. Me. No, don't let me shit on Avatar. Avatar will be fun. Avatar is going to be great. It'll be and, a great And the first movie was a banger, too. James Cameron's awesome. Uh, Andrea, as my co-marriage counselor, who do you think is in the wrong here? What do you think they can do to fix their relationship? Well, so Hassan did invite Will to Valorant, but he raids Will, so I think it's even. Wow. Yeah, just buy me off. Just, okay. First I mean, of just all, your whore, yeah. First of all, I did not invite. How much is my love? I, 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 I have invited. I'm just repeating what wasn't said in the kitchen. Okay, I've invited Will to Valorant, but I know that he doesn't like playing Valorant that much. And the last time what? I invited you, the last time I invited you, you literally gave like a, ah, I don't know about that man type of fucking answer. So it led me to believe, okay, Will doesn't want to play Valorant. He's only doing it for me, so I'm just not going to invite him. Oh, I wow. think I was probably midstream. Yeah, well, that's when I'm playing Valorant, which is why I don't, when I don't ask, that's the reason, because mm. you're doing, like, React content. Yeah. Who knew communication solved the issue? But that's, but this is beautiful. They just had to okay. talk about it. Okay, but that, but, like, we're, we're literally admitting that, like, I, I knew what I was doing then. I would also like more oral sex. Oh. There we go. <laughs> that you can't have. Yeah, wow. No. Gatekeeping it? Mm-hmm. Jeez. What is, what else is lacking in your you relationship need to, together? Yeah, you need to work for that one, I'm gonna, honey. Hey, I, I don't mean to turn this into a real moment. But uh oh, oh, I'm not ready for Wait, that. The oral sex wasn't the <laughs> real I'm moment. I'm gonna grab the cookie. <laughs> no, here's what I'll say. Uh oh, this life has given me so much. I cannot believe my fortune to be a streamer. I make a ton of money. I get to do very fun things. But one thing I have lost is my best friend. 
My no. access to Hassan is extremely limited. The reason I do this podcast is to get a chance to hang out with him. And in the last 10 or in the last three years of our 10 year friendship, we have now uh -huh. hung out more on stream <laughs> than we have in person. That's fair. That's and valid. That slime has the same problem. That's just, that's like, oh, you know, I know, I know exactly what you're going through. Yeah. I lost my best friend to streaming too. But wait. I miss her so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Honestly, I, the, doing the podcast with Ludwig is the one time I get to actually sit down and talk with him. And I understand what you're saying, Will. And that's yeah. how it goes sometimes. And I don't fault you or anyone for that. It's just some days I'm like, man, I remember the days when we would bribe our way into a nightclub with a pie of pizza. Yeah, I mean, I just... I also don't really go mm -hmm. out that much anymore. So that's, that's also that's true. another that's another reason. That's also true. My Lost to so streaming sad. and age. Is, is this what's gonna happen to my sister and I? <laughs> yeah. If we separate, it's only gonna be for content. Yeah, you will be the will in that relationship, and you will keep going out, and yeah. she will not. Yep. Are you more of a will or a Hassan? With she's a will. Okay, what she's are the defining? Will. I mean, yeah, no, easily. Well, Come will's on. a fun. I, I was, I, I was definitely, <laughs> I was definitely more like her when I was her age, and you and when act I was young. like you're 50. years old. You're like <laughs> well, I mean, 31. I, I, my, this body. How I put old a lot is of, Will? I put a are lot of miles on. Age? 29. He is. Okay, like he's two years. old. He's older than me. <laughs> Oh, he's older yeah. than you. <laughs> See how surprised she is, Hassan. Yeah. I mean, Sir. Hassan just acts like he's like a grandfather. Yeah. I mean, that's how I feel. You know, we're surrounded by children. Come on, you can back me up on this. I can, I can back you up, but I don't want to. But because we're old boomers yeah. and balding, yeah. we have to stick uh, together. Excuse me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, sorry, we talked about this earlier as well. Yeah, I was getting roasted. They're like, yeah, Slime, you look really good, bald. No, like he said that, that. I would never in, say that to in, a bald. In, I would never say that to a bald. <laughs> the fuck do I sound like a bald? Buddy? <laughs> I'm saying a bald yeah, a like bald. that. <laughs> okay, Hassan, genuine question. Do you think the reason you feel so aged inside is just because out of everyone, you're streaming the most hours? Maybe. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, well, absolutely. He just works Look, so hard. The way I see it, <laughs> the way I, I love doing this. I talked about this recently with a with a journalist who, who was interviewing me for something. Flex, um, okay. Where I basically told him, like, I can shut off everything because streaming requires 120% of my attention. So, like, the moment I hit that start streaming button, everything else is quiet and I'm fucking in the zone. I'm tapped in. I'm in the zone. I don't have to worry about anything. I don't oh. have to worry about like things that are wrong. You're like me at Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. I get My it streaming is your Disneyland. Disneyland. Your Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, I love this it. I'm built for it. I love doing it. I genuinely enjoy it. I have that like specific kind of mental illness that has made it so much more, so much fun for me. <laughs> That's so lucky. Wow. You're lucky. But because of that, yeah, I do it for eight hours a day, six hours a day. And then on top of that, I'm doing the podcast. You know, yeah. scheduling all that stuff too and then you know there's other obligations as well so i just i don't have time like i, I it's terrible yeah. and then i sleep and the other thing that makes me feel guilty is when i do get him out he's miserable that's not true we're gonna go yeah, out tonight I, i'm gonna be i'm not and gonna be you're miserable. gonna be miserable <laughs> no i'm not no i'm, I'm drinking when i <laughs> that's that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll hey. drink i'll drink don't worry i promise sea slime fall off the way Again. Yeah, it's, you know what it no, is. No, you you drink too. You and drink you a little bit. I don't drink. What are you talking about? I <laughs> no, drink too. No, you do. You do. You what drink. are you talking about? No, oh, you do. I've been sober for eight years. You were not drinking at the chess boxing event? No. <laughs> I, I, dude, I had a drug problem. Uh, okay, I was gonna no, ask. No, you drink. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's typically what I've I have told starts. you this before. He's just like Ludwig. This is fucked up. I'm taking I, this sweater off, even though it looks incredible. It's so uh, hot in your house. Um, <laughs> I, I thought you were just gonna sit there I shirtless. Sworn I you like, were drinking like I actually scotch with me right at the chess boxing event. No, brother bear was not. I mean, um, drinking was water through some dark shit. Yeah, ago. yeah, it sucks. Have you ever opened? Oh, it? I, I've been there, brother. Don't. Want. I've never really like got I, into it, but it was yeah. uh, it was Benzos. They're um, fun. Like Jordan Peterson. Yeah, I'm the Jordan Peterson. But like of age appropriate shit. for you. <laughs> I only ate meat, and I just loved Xanax and Valium, so it was great. Oh, well, I'm glad good for you. you for eight years strong. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, again, yes. You look good, bald. Good, good on you <laughs> for not being fun anymore. It no, sucks. I look slime. I think you carry the yard. That I think whoa, you're the best. Whoa, I don't know what I'm say. Clip it. I mean, I'm saying that too. Whoa. How many episodes of The Yard have you watched? 
I've watched a couple. I like okay. doing my homework. All right. Because, you know, we're thinking of a podcast. I like to see what it's like. Oh, so you want to see what the goats are doing? Oh, uh, yeah. That's you know why she was watching or, us. I'm only saying I'm not going to lie. I only watched this one because I had, like, mentally prepared for it. But the yard, I watched We learned podcast. something interesting so about much, the yard. Bro. We learned something very interesting about the yard. What's up, bro? Keystone, really, you've never been a guest. Oh, yeah. No. Right. How does that <laughs> make you feel? <laughs> they hate women. Here we go. Mar- <laughs> marriage counselor, <laughs> round two. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I think they have a lot of options for good guests. I think they just don't see that I'm a diamond in the rough. I don't Can th- we be honest? They don't see that Is I Is that the only reason you want to join Slime our is podcast? shaking his head. What? What? <laughs> wait, wait, I don't oh, get it. no. Wait, I actually don't get it. I actually don't get it. I wait, don't get it either. what are you alluding to? You, your only reason for wanting to join Fear, change the name, change everything, we will for you because we love you. Is to beat them? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we can. <laughs> I uh, if that, I've been blatantly I okay, okay, okay. I that love you two so up. fucking much. No, 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 I really no. do. That's fucked up. I love you so much. I actually think hey, there's potential. Tell him, cutie. Tell him why. Because we've had some talks about you guys. <sighs> no, 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 no. Listen, we we could we could do it, boys, together. We could. Um, it would just take some time, and I just don't. Know, I don't know if the heart is there. But my me. heart has always been here. Okay, bro, you haven't been here. <laughs> <laughs> Slime has been here That's more than fair. you have. <laughs> and like on accident. <laughs> yeah, but actually, genuine question, like where do you go? Bitch! <laughs> I, just, I just hear your- Let me give you an example <laughs> of our scheduling process. It's bad. The last podcast we were supposed to do bad. was around the fights. And Hassan's like, yeah, dude, we'll just do it before the fights. We don't hear shit from him. And he's like, yeah, dude, we'll just go to the fight and do it after. And then he just leaves- <laughs> <laughs> no, because well, no, we we couldn't do it. Ever. How am I supposed to schedule around that? No, no, no. You know what? We're coming to be, back to the relationship issues. No, that I look, think that here's Will's the, here's right. the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, um, I've told him I'll live in the house. I that's <gasps> not true. I'm moving said, in. I will move. I will this move is moving into faster the house. than I thought. This okay, is exciting. what is happening? Yeah, you see the fear in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I'm fine. Fear with I'm, you God. I'm not ready. I, I mean I'm I'm fine with that. All but right, we'll TV it. I don't Best think you need friends to, again. Move in together. I don't, shake his hand. I don't think it. you need to. I don't think you need to move into my house to, to do the I'm podcast. I'm selling my apartment. <laughs> Farley's coming in, baby. <laughs> I think uh, this is the best solution we could come to. Yes. I think you do not have a say on this. <laughs> you can't even control a uh, microphone. Excuse okay. Me. <laughs> what do you mean? No, you're, uh, you're she's got wrong. soft skills. Don't do that. She knows what she's doing. She's a marriage counselor. <laughs> That's true. Without okay. me, you would have I never think solved the thing, issues. The unique thing about the yard that this podcast could instinctively work on misogyny is yeah, <laughs> they hate women. Yeah. Um, Maybe no, no, no. That's why the yard does better. The yeah, true. They attract. <laughs> yeah, they never we know where our bread on. is buttered, guys. That's yeah. true. Well, the, it's the continuity. Lean into it. That, All right, watch this, very, watch this, watch this, watch this. One month, mm-hmm. commit to it. February, you move in, I move in. One month. Why we don't do we do January? January? Why are we waiting till February? Also, why Because I she... need to get my shit in order. <laughs> Ooh, why is she? Because you know <laughs> then it's going to be March. And okay. you're like, actually, April. No, I, guys, I why? go skiing also, every, every fucking January, and I'm not going to miss that. That's fine. But the issue is, is Hassan and Ludwig are going to Japan in February. That's true. And that's going to well, be an issue. he's coming to Japan in February I'm coming as well. We could do an episode in Japan. Wow. wow. I'll be and in then when we get back, we what? all move in together. That's exciting. Why is everyone moving in together? <laughs> shut, shut, you're an asshole. Shut the fuck up. Everyone moves in we his house. We can building a in. set. I would love that. We can stream you learning to love my dog. I love your dog already. Him. She has, what? What is she that has multiple animals. <laughs> talks about it. You don't love my dog? No, I love... Wait, what do you mean? What? He looks what? like a dog hater. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love so dogs. What are you talking you about? I love dogs. I, I just... Okay. So, yeah. I'm, we'll get there. Sure. I'm a friend to all no, animals. I'll, look, I'll look join. Look at this. For all you listeners at home, look what? at me, ready to commit. Okay, I'm, I'll put a ring on it. You are okay. saying you are talking Fear I think, okay. and wine. Go. Move in week. <laughs> no, no. Wait, now Maya is involved. What's happening? <laughs> continuity. This like, is what I mean. They're so they're doing regular episodes. I know they're doing regular episodes. We do regular but episodes. I know. Listen, sit your freaking ass down. Open those big ass ears. And listen. Ooh, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> the truth needs to come out Body right now. Body shaming? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your ears are normal size. Um. Uh, they, what they do is... I just developed a new insecurity. <laughs> I didn't even know I had this. You could use a couple. You're all right. You'd be all right. It's, be all right. Since they're all friends and they all live separate lives and they come together each week, it's the it's the powwow. It's, they're listening, you, listening and you know... 
two weeks ago, they were looking forward to chess boxing, boxing. They talk about it coming up and then it's the day before. Oh my gosh, they're nervous in that episode. And then it's the next day it's happened. So there's continuity with their stories because they're living their lives and they're bringing it together. A big issue that happens on this podcast is you get derailed by the guest. You don't treat them like, Hey, my new member, Andrea, you treat her like, hello, Andrea, let's make this about you. And let's be a little awkward now. And you're saying we're too giving and we care about our guests too much, whereas the yard doesn't. Correct. The yard <gasps> says to their guests, you are one of us now. Take your pants oh, off. You guys are like, hey. all right, fine. Take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing the skirt, so <laughs> I'm wearing pants. It's a loophole. She's anyway, beat the game. Judy told me to do it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a benefit that they have, and I think we could get there. I do. I think there's hope for us still. I, that's beautiful. I'm saying move in week. Move in week. One week. Okay, that sounds insane. That'd be fun. We all live together for one week. You sound like you're not down. You sound you're down. We're making cookies. Cookies. We're We're helping out on stream. We do politics in the morning. We watch horror movies at night. Yeah, nighttime. horror movies. I hate One week together. Oh my God, I love that. (laughs) It it might work if we tell him we can stream 24-7 on your channel. No, no, no. It doesn't have, we don't have to do all that. uh, Okay. (laughs) We don't have to stream 24-7. 24-7. I, I am like, Will thinks I have autism. I don't think I have autism. I have never said that <laughs> on okay. the record. But, but listen, I'll just say this, okay? I, I am very particular about, like, my regimen. Uh-huh. And You're habitual. I feel like if it breaks, I'll fall apart. So you don't and, want us And what you're in. telling me is, like, terrifying me a little bit. Oh. Like the, the moment that he said, tw- the moment that he said horror films and you said 24 hour stream, I'm thinking like, okay, but when do I have my unwind time? Like after streaming? Cause I need to watch like, episodes. Oh, that's the horror movie. Now <laughs> the whole exercise has come full circle. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Notice who the barrier in the road is. Mm. Wait, oh. I think it's going to be a tough sell to tell people of this podcast that I'm the one preventing us from making more content because I've been on every episode. It's in your house. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I mean, we, we can do it at a different studio if you want well, to. We're gonna, but we'll then figure we're gonna, it out. You know what, guys? But then we're going to run into limitations with like when we can make scheduling decisions on guests. When are uh, We're live at 7.07 right now. What typically happens at 7? Do we do, uh, I stream basketball oh. games. So oh, wow. anytime <laughs> that going. I want to do fear, I have to give up my shit. It's true. But sometimes I also, wait, first of all, I also shave off hours from my streaming to do it before or oh. after my why stream. Don't, why don't you have, do you have an office day? You need one office day and that's when you what do the podcasts. the fuck is an office oh. day? Oh, like, a, like a day off. An offline from, day. Or if you have an offline it's an day. Office We're moving day. in together. Okay. I've made the decision. Yeah, Will <laughs> seems to be dead set on this and I think that's beautiful. Look, I think that you guys are figuring it out and you're coming together. Mm-hmm. And I think you need to have a powwow and you need to put in effort because yep. these things don't work without effort. And Hassan and I will sleep in a bunk bed. You Fun. sleep in a bunk bed. And, the, and it's, it's got little logs on it. Yes. It's like camp. <sighs> okay. Shit yeah. camp. That sounds awful. I'm going to be <laughs> honest with you. That would be a really small and I'm, good I'm for you. I'm a 31-year-old man, okay? Here we go, man. It's There's so many shit, habits bro. that I've developed You're over right. the years Will's that it would right, make me go bro. crazy. See, okay, I can't tell if you guys are joking or serious. Because you all have roommates, Caroline, Ludwig, and, you know. Yeah, she's my roommate. Yeah, and no one. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but Ludwig is her roommate. I feel roommate. like you guys <laughs> would genuinely. Time. I feel like you guys would genuinely be down to all lift. But, I mean, Hassan. Yeah, I don't see. I would do it for. I would do it for a week. Yeah. Okay. I would do it for a week. I do it for a week. I couldn't do it for more than a week. We can do it for a week. Sure. I'm oh, is it for a week? No, I'm down. If it's just gonna be a week, so I'm down. Fear week. That's cool. Like we're gonna trip. change the name. <laughs> the real, the real takeaway is that everyone's wanting to try a little harder, and Cute. I think that's beautiful. Well, I'm also sad because honestly, my goal of this year that was it has a very successful female ran podcast, and now I'm with boys. Yeah, but you're running the podcast. Uh, yeah, you're you're I the female you running the podcast. The boys. You're hurting the boys into the pen. Can I still, hypothetically, you know, I... We I, can I, have the Taylor Swift power hour. Whoa! <laughs> but, question, yes. would it be an Clevin. issue if, perchance... I join Fear and full time. I'm I'm the I'm here every week, no matter what, mm-hmm. rain or shine. Probably late sometimes. But can I still do wine about it? 
I can have two podcasts is my yeah, question. You want to be Polly? You can have two podcasts. I think uh-huh. it's bad for the brand to do two. I think so. I'm kind of with you too, but I'm just It's wondering. not as strong. Well, we, it's we're not as not, I, I, I don't, too. I, I, don't it I don't care about that because obviously I have another podcast with H3H3, but... And he just doesn't care. You're not special. You're just another one of his many podcasts. No, Damn. I mean, but this is the... This Jesus is like... <laughs> this is like left my podcast. The you know what I mean? Like I see this as like... I see this as like the podcast that I care about. You know what I mean? The other one is like That's cute. the other one is oh, like it's just I'm business. So sorry. No, the other one is H three H three. I love them. They're family. Uh, but like they do all the the legwork. You know what I mean? They do all the hard stuff, like the production, the studio. It's all it's all up to them. You know what I mean? They they put in the fucking hours uh, behind the scenes, and I love that podcast. But this is I feel like I'm doing legwork here. It's different. It's ultimately a question of who's tricking out who. Who's in whose Whoa. stable, if you will. What is, I don't even know what Are that you means. in H3 stable? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but then for Ludwig's sure. in your stable. Yeah. Well, is no, Will I mean, H3 and I... No, 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 no. H3 and I have a, a podcast together, though. Like, Ludwig, I'm tricking him out. Yeah, over It's and just over. business. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I am like a nasty in his little stable, guy. I am the Crixies. No, he's not in my stable. We have a podcast together. Like, it's not the same. If I'm in the stable, I want to be a pony. No, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's not how this works. There is no, there is no stable. If you're no, like the podcast, we're all partners. All right, for stable. an episode of our podcast, I think we are, are all in agreement that we need to get you back on a horse. <gasps> I mean, I'm down. I, I don't know what horse ranch back. is going to let to ride horses we, professionally. Yes. We're going to put him on a Clydesdale. It. Yeah, I think a Clydesdale is our only Clydesdale. option. You see it? What do you mean? Who's that or? one dude with long, luscious hair in the wind? Fabio. Uh, yeah, Fabio. he's like a Turkish Fabio. You like that? <laughs> no, <laughs> that, that episode I would absolutely go. My, my haters used to call me Brown Fabio, though, which I always thought was weird because it's like that's you're complimenting yeah, me. Yeah, that is funny. But like they were racist, so they thought like saying Brown Fabio, who yeah. ironically is more brown than I am, just really? by skin complexion. What did you do with horses? I used to be a professional show jumper. What am I I'm saying? Fucked with right now? No. 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 Can you, you imagine that? that? No, there's what photos of it. It, look up Hassan Piker question. It'll come up on. How Google did probably. you? How did you get into jumping for show? Just I had my my family was much wealthier when I was growing up, and then you know, poof, all that and went they away. Said, Put him on a horse. Um, and yeah, that they literally were just like, look at that little guy. We That's should Hassan. get him. Yeah. I'm oh my gosh! Him. Wait, you did this in high school as like a little as a young. Yeah. Kid. Yeah. Yeah. In high was school. this in Turkey or in? Wow. Yeah, in Turkey. Girls. Okay. I that was that was Slime's idea it was Horse Girls. Yeah, I, mean, I thought Horse Girls. Yeah, yeah, Horse Girls are really. That's funny why name. Ludwig loves it so much. Yeah, he Aww, loves anything Slime precious. does. He didn't know. No, he didn't I know. I thought of that. He, yeah, you were in the Discord group. Do you two ever oh, feel like you guys yeah. need to, or do you compete for Ludwig's attention? Um, oh, no. no slime has the tattoo, so he wins. <laughs> yeah, I have a tattoo of Ludwig's name on my ass. Like I, I've won. I don't yeah, need. Yeah, he's he's won. We've yeah. already talked about Ludwig's was... tattoo of yours. Have you guys ever experimented together sexually? No, I've seen his wiener a lot and his open butthole. But, but who cool. hasn't at this point? Yeah, I was gonna say, and that just speaks to. Does that you know, make you upset that like he shared it with so many? <laughs> no, because I don't. I'm not an ownership. Notice guy. how I'm not asking Cutie these questions. <laughs> yeah, I, I rank higher. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know what your perspective is. Hey, look, at Ludwig. I've I've told this story before, but the first night I literally ever hung out with him, we were playing Mafia at a house because we all stayed together for a Smash tournament, and it was like seven of us. It was like AZ guys, SoCal guys, and we played Mafia. And he did this thing where if he was a detective, um, he would show you his balls. Basically. So it's like you wake up in the morning and he knows your mafia. Actually, sorry, he was moderating. And he would show you his balls because he knows you have to open your eyes and look at him. So I saw his balls before like I talked to him pretty much. Wow. That's Judy, did you see his balls when you first met him? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, actually we know special We know yeah. that we know that he was Timid. Markedly reserved about showing That's his balls so to Cutie at first. Yeah, the entire other world well, it's kind balls. of not his fault because I, I did friend zone him for quite some time. I was like, I'm not dating a streamer. That sounds like an awful idea. Yeah. It'll probably lead to people. You uh, also used to be more intimidating. What? You Is also, it was it I think it was I the dark like hair. Yeah, yeah, black hair. No, your bit. your whole person. No, I think you were your entire like I'm a crazy bitch and yeah. I'll yeah. kill you ex girlfriend personality yeah. on shows that you were appearing on. Personality. Am I right? Well, I mean, yeah. Well, it's 
that's all we knew you as yeah. though. So yeah, I, was like, I played a bit girl's... of a Cersei Lannister. People don't realize how talented I am, actually. I didn't. I just <laughs> thought you were really mean to me. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, I'm sorry. I think I think I was filling a niche on the internet that no one else was brave enough to do. Right. What made Genuinely. you transition from that cutie to this cutie, if that makes sense? Uh, well, so I would only do that on shows, and ah. the problem was is I, I I've seen people fail where they would act like a certain way on a show, and then they'd yeah. go to their own stream and try to maintain it, okay. but there's no way to maintain that so instead i'd use yep. austin's platform yep. to drive people to my channel and then they just fell in love with me that's <laughs> yeah the riz was just unbeatable because yeah. Bron they, they would first come play. in and they'd be like oh <laughs> bronze league gameplay yeah, they were like this is my this shit is the girl um <laughs> girl no, of my dream because they like they would first come in and be like wait you're not mean and i'd be like yeah it's actually very interesting i mean okay there's not that many strong personas that I remember, but like Minx is an example. And I feel like on stream, she's pretty similar to the persona mm -hmm. she played on Lover Host. So I think that was very smart how you did that. Thank you. What was your first impression of Cutie? What was the first time we met, actually? I mean, it was had to be on Lover. I mean, I was probably scared shitless Were you on, on Lover, Lover Host? Host? No way. I mean, I, yeah, this, just I would have been she dating hated Ludwig me at that time. And she's mean and scary. <laughs> What but about no, you? I don't feel like I feel like it was better actually. What about your Ludwig. first impression of Cutie? Mine, mine was actually great. It was um the her and Ludwig had like just started talking and I remember at the time I had broken up with somebody and it was like it was fine it was just like mutual breakup but she uh Ludwig told her that cuz they were just talking and then she got me an edible arrangements like fruit basket just as like a nice gesture. She barely knew I me. I just remembered the first well, time we met. It was what so was nice. It? Fruit baskets are perfect. Like edible <sighs> arrangements are perfect because they're like kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. But they're also like, I'll eat a pineapple. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. did. And I was like, this is so nice. She yeah. doesn't even know me. So that was great. I can be nice. What about your first impression of Will and myself? Uh, I think it was when we just moved to LA or maybe before that, but that's kind of my first memory. Um, I think like Will took us out. We had a great time. Hassan went to bed at like 10 p.m. Oh wow, <laughs> that's crazy! No, no, no. Stop, but you guys were stop, actually he's already dead. You guys were very friendly, and especially like you know Hassan, he's easy to shit on and stuff. But you're actually very nice in person, yeah. <laughs> which it's just not what you expect because you're always getting shit on. Yeah. Um. So you think that you'd like be more can intimidating? Hashtag cancel Hassan. Shit yeah. on is what she means. But I just I don't know. I mean, it's kind of. One of my first <laughs> memories of you was your sister and you invited me to be on a chess dating show. Oh do you God. remember this? I do. You were great. You killed it. You were the star they, of the they show. They asked me to be on a chess dating show. They never mentioned that we would play chess. That's funny. You were funny. like, oh, we, we want you to be on a dating show. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I, I don't, you said we I want you to be on a dating show. When it's chess. It's not implied. No. You have to say the word chess. Yeah, no, I think we just, that's kind of our brand. We trick people into yeah. playing chess, thinking they're doing something more fun. Sounds right, awful. So, <laughs> so I get to the dating show and they're like, okay, you're going to be playing chess now. And I was like, I've never played <laughs> chess in my I life. I swear we told you. So, so, so they assure me, they're like, don't worry, you'll lose in the first round. Somehow I win. <laughs> That's exciting. That's because easy. I'm up against someone who's equally as shitty at chess. Wait, can, real quick, what's the oh, you format? Didn't, you didn't like it put them against like day. IMs or whatever. He was on a team with another person. Like, it was yes. like, yeah, so yes. he's pretty good. One person who's actually like cracked. And then I don't remember who the other one was. But three games of chess later where I'm literally just blindly moving pieces. I, I have never felt so naked. Did well, you win he, the game? He had a team member shouting moves at him and he would make the moves. Yeah. And like, yeah, and then I think they threw in like one move, but he did very well considering he had absolutely no <laughs> idea how to play. Yeah. But that's so funny. I really, yeah. I thought we included the chess in the no. well, I was surprised he even said yes. I can't remember when we met. I do. Um, I was very new to streaming and we were just, it was when Pog Champs was starting and like chess was right when the pandemic began and chess was getting viral and we did a hand and brain match with you and Ludwig. Oh. With my sister. I remember now. Yeah. I remember uh, now. Yep. I remember. Yeah. And I was like, damn, the right women do suck at chess. Just kidding. Damn. No, <laughs> I'm pretty I'm good, though. From the jump, I was <laughs> like, no, no, no chess for me. remembering that correctly. You did grind Why for you... Pog Champs. I do remember that. I was grinding. She was, she was crushed I mean, when she lost. I cried a little bit. Damn. So I, I I remember seeing that and I'm like, all right, she's a fucking gamer because I was like, she's tried really, she's trying really hard and she's taking her loss hard. Oh, which that I sounds respected. that sounds a lot like her league gameplay. Key. Yeah, I literally have a coach in league and everyone. everyone you have, have a, a coach? coach. I have a coach. What? Have a coach. It doesn't show. I know. 
Oh, oh my oh, God. I, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's I, fire I, the coach. Get a new it's one. It's not working. It's not his fault. I'll be honest. I, but it's uh, a. Yeah, are you like, just I not. Grind. You're uncoachable? Is I'm that what you're saying? So bad. Are you grinding <laughs> offline? With the no, coach? this is my issue is when I play league, I zone out. I treat it as my zone out, but I would like to be better. But so the coach will literally be like, you're not listening. And I'll be like, huh? Just play some. And I'm not. No. Ew. <laughs> Oh, Here's geez. the problem with support is when I first got in the league scene, I would go to events and um, people would be like, oh, do you play support? Because I'm a girl. And I was like, fuck that. It's like playing Peach in Smash. It's but, like if you're a girl, everyone assumes you play Peach and you're like, fuck you. I do it's, play Peach in Smash. It's sad though because like you kind of fulfilled the meme now though. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> Are you a pick me league girl? What does that mean? You know what that means? No. It's like when you're like... I'm it, good. It's a pejorative thing. It's not a nice thing. I was making a joke, but it's like, I'm not like other girls. I play no. mid. I play ADC. I like playing ADC, for the record, to my detriment. If Don't I you was play a, Jinx? Yeah, but if I was a pick-me girl, I'd play jungle. Okay. Because that's rough and tough. What's wrong with... <laughs> <laughs> the jungle is rough. That's my territory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's my shit. I'm not like the other girls. I play jungle. Mm. I am because it's not very better at league than people think I am. You are good. That's at true. You right? like all play league. I yeah. do not. I, don't I, I think it's league. disgusting. Well, I think it should be banished. League is, I, <laughs> I think, not banned, banished. Pound for pound, yes. dollar for dollar, still the best competitive game. I agree. That's the dumbest shit anyone's ever said Whoa. in their life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay you coming like from a Smash Yeah, I was going to say, you like Smash, though. I play Melee, smash is great. you pussies. Oh, God. oh I'm sorry, what? Serious so franchise is that from? Dude, 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 dude. Smash. Dude, it's most notable for the smells, okay? <laughs> dude, 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 dude. He has nothing. He has nothing. Get it all out. Slim, I will say, I think Melee is a very good competitive game. I do. I really do. I think it's a very fun game. But at the highest level, you're essentially breaking the game to be good at it, right? No. You just think What's that. a wave dash? Uh -oh. What's a wave dash? <laughs> yeah, what's you a wave literally dash? just slide into the ground. I'm so lost how? In how, how do you, you wave air dash? dodge into the ground? You air dodge into the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Is this hard to understand, Will Neff? It's uh, no, I, it's very easy to understand. I just think a lot of the mechanics that now are commonplace in Melee were not mechanics that they intended at the inception of the game. Yeah, and that's because been a big the competition problem. has gotten so high level, so it's not even like approachable it's anymore. Like, no, it's like crack. You don't get it. Even bad players can like experience it. the delicious crack that is I, Melee. I love Melee. I do. Mm, I'm just saying, crack. in terms of balance, being able to go in every time <laughs> on my computer. And just find a like a decently ranked match. League is infinitely better than me having to bring yes. my fucking GameCube to a, a some, tournament. Some of in us work. Sweat some sock. Of, all, some like, of us work Texas. for our crack. But do, yeah, but, <laughs> I get it. There's layer yes. friction, and you make a lot of sense. But man, and then like, when I get there, me who's decent at melee will get his shit pushed. Yeah, in. for like two years. Yes. Yeah. So so that's not a. Sorry, I'm hardcore. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry about it. Yeah, I mean, yours is mass-produced crack for sure, yes. which is why I think it should be banned and banished. I also think it's funny. We're talking about being the best gamer when, like, you're right here and you're, like, a high-ranking, like, fucking I've chess player. I've zoned out in well, the last can I, five Well, can I ask minutes. you, what is your, uh, what are you the best at that isn't chess? Yeah, no, I'm not good at other games. Then. No, but, like, there's got to be you're something that, like... You're good at beating that ass, like, though. Like, hey. Which is a good segue into what we were supposed like, to talk about today. It's okay. I don't know. I, I like hearing your guys' little chats. You <laughs> our little, <laughs> our little <laughs> gamer <laughs> chats. You beat so some ass. patronizing. We did. I did beat some ass. But she's so my hype. good friend now, so... Tell me we, about it. We've made amends. Um, I mean, it was great. I had six weeks to train for it. Took it very seriously. Yeah, we could tell. <laughs> yeah, I know. You had insane like, cardio. It well, was actually shocking. You, I've never seen this. You literally did the Street Fighter, like, warming yeah. warm up stance. Well, yeah. yeah. Where you were literally <laughs> bouncing but the entirety but of that was my. That's what I had prepared. But that's insane. You're not supposed to do that. You're, like, literally exhausting yourself for no reason but you still never I got mean, gassed i mean okay because real because it's 90 seconds three rounds i knew even by the end of the third round like i'm not like i was sparring with like pro fighters and we do 10 rounds yeah you're the first time we did like two minutes dynamite <laughs> i'm way more than 98 pounds but no i had like yeah that, that honestly um i had prepared to be moving the way to my feet so i could go in with strong punches but since she didn't fight back that was ineffective I <laughs> <just> <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was yeah, really she silly. Did. She but did. in a professional fight, that's you want to. I mean, you know, I don't look professional, but I'm trying to you get that great. balance. No, you with. did. I think no, you were slowly day. learning for six weeks. Who are you calling out next? Well, uh, who I'm fighting? Well, I actually have one in the works, but it's it's really difficult. So my goal with that chess boxing fight was to like make an impression on people in like the other boxing world, and like sorry, talking like misfits boxing, and <laughs> like creator actually clash. relevant boxing. No, 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 no chess Whoa. boxing. It's like I no, use no. I use chess like, boxing I want, as a leg out. No, no. okay, I want him. No, no. Let, let me, me say. In. Chess boxing, especially to the chess community, was like really meaningful to a lot of people. And I think it was a great event and obviously really entertaining. But I mean, I wanted a fitness challenge and I didn't have the time to commit to something full on. So it was a really good segue. Yeah. But 100% like obviously the event was a hit. Um, but I would like to do like a real just full on fight. If you could fight anyone, historical figure, <laughs> celebrity, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> who would it be? Who are you taking okay. in the ring? If if I felt nothing, I would fight my sister because I think it'd be the most entertaining. Wow. But I, I love her too much and I can't. But I think that would be She's super also way too tall. Do you think you yeah. can beat her ass though, regardless? I mean, if we weren't related, but of course she's Wait, really? taller than me. Yeah, she's I think the me. height is an issue. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think she's, Alex walks. Well, actually, you, that's sorry. not true. Yeah. If I think about that, I don't know how much she weighs. I see But I'm you're pretty going. sure the weight difference is the same as like me and my next boxing opponent. Yeah. Like we could get with that. That's like pounds. everybody wants me to fight Hassan. And I figured out that we would have, he would have to lose 30 pounds and I would have 30? to gain for 30 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And that would be... You'd be looking like Squidward when he found I'd out he likes his What's the height baddies. difference between you guys? Uh, I'm 6'4". So it, You're 6'4". I guess that makes I sense. I guess it's a 6-inch difference, 5-inch difference. Okay. Because my next opponent's like 4 inches, and she has to put on a lot. I have to but Yeah, that's... 4 inches like, taller or shorter? She's shorter. Whoa. 4 inches shorter. 4 inches Whoa. shorter? Where did you yes. find her? Um, what the okay. fuck? Wow, what is she, 5'1"? I one? She's this. What are you? Um, I'm 5'6". She's 5'2". Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, and she'd have to put on like seven pounds. I'd have to lose like seven, but it's doable. Um, but she's like a very, oh, I, I guess it's not formal, so I can talk about it. But yeah. Michelle Carre, you guys know Michelle. Carey? Oh, Michelle oh, Carey, Michelle. Yeah. My old Buzzfeed. Oh, you friend. guys worked at Buzzfeed Wait, who is together. It? Michelle, Michelle like, Carr. She's dangerous. She's, yeah, she's dangerous. Dude, she I used know. to be a professional cyclist. Yeah, that would be a good. She's fight. in insane shape. She's, she's like great. a solo try guy. I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Wait, how do you spell her last <laughs> she name? She might kill me, but she I shouldn't find this girl to ride along with. K H A R E. Yeah. Um, no, she's cool. She does a lot of like, we, challenges. We, we've and been stuff. talking about. It. We haven't put anything in the works, so I'm not leaking anything yet. Sure. But she's the girl. We yeah, that's my dude. Going. No, she, shouts out. I mean, she, her living. Her she makes YouTube videos or she picks up hobbies. Yeah, in yeah. And she used to do stunt work. It. Yeah. She used oh, to so do, she's gonna honestly, fucking kill you. Yeah, no, she's really. Oh, no. she used to do stunt work. And stunt, she's a oh, professional stunt. cyclist. Oh, dude. Oh <laughs> I mean, no. Hey, I believe in you, Andrea. Yeah. Somebody, please back like, me this up. Is, yeah, yeah, this I isn't mean, like, look, I have the weight advantage. That's really about it. Um, I think you're also hungry, and that matters a lot. Too. I mean, I yeah, think I we're think in a fight. similar shape. Like, yeah. I, funny enough, we went on a hike together, which I need to stop befriending all of my boxing opponents because it's counterproductive. But, like, we went on a hike together, and, and like, I honestly think we're in pretty similar fitness levels, except I'd have to cut some more pounds. Who do you hate that you'd want to fight? Well, they're not anyone. Women. They're Got not him. <laughs> of I course have they're not. Opponents, hey, welcome to Horse I, Girls, everyone. Who? Let's hey. hear Martin well, I don't hate, I don't hate anybody. <laughs> I don't hate anyone. Um, just think the controversy. Not the controversy. Who? Actually. Say it. I don't think she names. should. I don't think she should. No, I no, no I'm definitely is, not going to say anyone say I hate. Say um, names. I'll say, I think in, if women could fight men, I think it would be really good if I just fought like another It's not illegal. Chess sure. YouTuber. Women, like I like that. Hikaru or Gotham Chess. But <laughs> you versus Hikaru would be a <laughs> fight of the century. Honestly, fight of the maybe century. Fight of the century. Hikaru. Maybe I could take I'm front row with a mink on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, yeah. that can never happen. That's a I feel I like Hikaru washes you, though. Slime, take your shot. I think I, I think I have the Who stamina and the energy. Who would you fight? Who would I fight? Yes. In general? Because you're going to fight Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl? Yeah. What? Dave Grohl. Why did you come up? This you is, had that in the is, chamber. Why? Dave Grohl. It's a new thing. Who's it's Dave? Not a new thing. It's he's, not a new he's thing. He's trying to be Dave cool. And he's friends. ubiquitously <laughs> the best liked man on the planet. What no, the he's fuck? not. The Foo Fighters <laughs> fucking suck. No, I know. I don't disagree with your okay, 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 Listen okay. to me. We got to we got to inform the uh, people at the table who don't know who Dave Grohl is. I don't Dave even disagree Grohl with what you're saying. I'm shocked that it's Dave Grohl. Former drummer Grohl. of Nirvana uh -huh. with Kurt Cobain. Wait. 
and then eventual lead what, singer. She's gonna of say, Foo "What's Fighters. Nirvana?" No, and we're I wasn't gonna, gonna say that, Hassan. I was gonna <laughs> okay. say, "What do you have against Dave?" It's a yes. great question, so Andrea. Uh, let me start by this. He uh, he's been he has an amazing drumming career. Uh, I play the drums. You I, said that sarcastically. No, I, I mean it. He's like he's been in like bands, live shows. He's been on recordings that are like insane. He's like a very accomplished drummer. And then he went went, went and made the worst fucking band of all time. I for not, that, I am he get, must go I am down. Gonna say this out loud. He was on Them Crooked Vultures, and then there he made, was a worse t- answer to who do you want to fight? That is the worst. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, put me in the fucking ring. That is the. Mo- <laughs> There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. He, he's too white for. He's no, gonna like no, Foo Fighters. no, no. Foo Fighters ubiquitously sucks. Well, it's no. it's literally American Nickelback, dude. Thank you, Hassan. It is. It is. It's American Nickelback, and I agree with everything you you're too saying. Are, and I'm still. I surprised. cannot wait to read the comments because you're gonna be eaten alive. Yeah, I I'm mean, not gonna be eaten alive. You're gonna be eaten alive. The real ones know. Real ones are no, no one. Sam, the guy this. that toured with Queens and Sony in 2002 has the shittiest band ever known. Okay, what that's about crazy. His, what about his appearances in Tenacious D as that's, the that's devil? That's fine. That's great. That's, he likes but everything the problem, but Foo Fighters. The problem right. is that the Foo Fighters suck so bad you that he shits all over it. Delirious. I'm not delusional. I kind of understand why you want to fight Dave Grohl now. Thank you so much. I feel Even valid. I was surprised. Even though I was surprised originally. Okay, who would you guys fight? Let him cool down. Who would you fight? Ben Shapiro. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> you would uh, fight yeah. Ben Shapiro? Okay, that's easy. That way, just, you would, the man you would stand snap his neck like a rabbit. But that's a good one. That's a good one. Be funny. That's a good one. Yeah. I would love to see that. Yeah. I'd pay literal, actual, a lot of money That'd to see that. That'd be a great fight. You'd, even more than like Destiny. I'm trying to think who else would be like your. Oh, your I would body. never even be around that man. <laughs> I guess there's, yeah. Okay. What about yeah. you, Cutie? I'm trying to think. I really am excited for Cutie's answer. I don't know. My, oh, I know give us some tea, Wait, please. Uh, 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 Claire from Bon Appetit. Oh, fuck Claire. I told you. Wow. I got her, I got her for Christmas. I got her a, a Claire's Dessert Person book. Fucking Claire. And she was like, this is really nice, but I fucking hate Claire. I'm like, my fault, OG. I didn't know yeah. OG. I didn't mean Claire's, it. Claire's a bitch. Why? <laughs> John Mayer. You would fight John Mayer. I would fight John Mayer. I, I think... Uh, well, the issue is my brain goes like li- like logically, and I'm like, oh, like so that was my biggest thing is watching Minx fight in Creator Crash. Minx and I, Minx and I are very close to the same height, like same height, yeah, almost same, yeah. like we're within ten pounds of each other already. And I was like, I would die, like, <laughs> which is crazy because yeah, I can be very competitive. Creator, yeah, so I, I know, Alex and I are close in oh height and size, <gasps> probably. Oh, but oh, I don't, I don't think I could fight Alex. Alex hates boxing. You are, yeah. you are ferocious. I know that's I the thing. Like I think experience. a lot of people don't realize is like I would kill someone if I had to, like yeah. without hesitation. No, so. people realize that they say that a lot about you. <laughs> that's actually. pretty much what Andrea said about meeting you for the first time. Well, I yeah. know, like, so I think I'm like, oh, maybe. Where I did you get the Netflix, idea? Maybe I wouldn't. Where did you get the idea that people don't say that about you? Well, you know, I think in unison we're more shocked that you said that really? you're not ferocious. Well, yeah. I think, I think people think like. I'm just chill, you know? No one thinks that. <laughs> yeah. what, where did you get that idea? What? That's not what I was expecting. Really? Okay. Chill um, is like mm. seven zip goes she away she, from she manically grips her <laughs> sock. Yeah. That's weird. People think I'm fucking chill. <laughs> they think I'm super chill. I am. <laughs> you know, the only thing that genuinely bought, the only time like a, a lady, so I can't even say whoms because it would cause drama, but like ladies that slide on Ludwig, I'll take you in the oh, ring. Yeah. That's an easy. I'll take you in two Ooh. seconds. Easy answer. Yeah. Name one. <laughs> so anyway, but air that bitch out. There, it was. I'm surprised anyone has the balls to slide on Ludwig's. Knowing you, you oh, <laughs> so are chill. I'm surprised anyone would slide on Ludwig. <laughs> <laughs> that is me. I'm yeah. kidding. I'm he's kidding. I'm kidding. Handsome. He's he's, he's very handsome. That was I a was good like one. Fucking I would slide from Lud. Street Fighter. Um, but yeah, I think <laughs> he, he looks like Guile from Street <laughs> Fighter. Yeah, blonde, big ass hair. <laughs> me? No, no, no. Ludwig. Ludwig. Oh, I forgot. Dude, I love it. I love that Ludwig is so outside of the scope of like an athletic person in our minds that he he thought you were talking about him. That's really funny. He's buff. <laughs> Ludwig, he's, you know, he he he's been lifting for a long no, he, time. He's Lud, really strong. We give Lud too much shit. Lud he's, he gets strong. very upset, Lud which looks, I think I is funny. I think Lud is handsome. He also has the most insane ass of a man. Like, and a chest hole. It's cr- and a chest hole. Yeah, but um, everybody's who, got it. Who apparently. would you fight? You're That's the last true. person. I mean, good fight. Dave Grohl? Not someone I dislike. 
Just someone I'd like Dave, to fight? Dave sure. Grohl. <laughs> I think Battle of the Internet Good Guys, Markiplier and I. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's that's interesting. Markiplier like would kill you because he has universe. access to like ba like baby yeah. blood and like yeah. adrenochrome. Yeah. But that's the thing is like, I need to lose that fight for the sake of the nation. <laughs> You take a you dive. You can't beat Mar Markiplier. No, bro. He's you too took him nice. Up. You concuss Markiplier. Yeah, that ruins, I, that ruins you. No, that ruins him. I'd play the People villain. would hate yeah. him after that. This is Me and Caroline crazy. are close to the same fun. size. That'd be a good fight. We could fight. Someone I, I dislike that I would together. fight. Yeah. <laughs> who, sh who could I fight that I dislike that would be good? Amaranth, you hate her. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> he just takes her um, down. <laughs> While you're thinking secret lore was that Will and uh, Myth were supposed to be the big fight. Yeah, I've talked about this. Okay, yeah. Because so, I, I remember that way back. I, it was I, like... I'll was, talk about this in full. First of all, that was that was presented to me by both fighting organizations. They, You guys and Crater Clash both, oh, wanted, okay. both wanted me to fight Ali. And I sat on it a while and I really didn't want to fight Ali because I, I love the kid. And then I talked to Ali, and his reflex was like, I'd rather fight someone else. Oh, interesting. So we both kind of agreed that like we wouldn't want to fight. Now, I lucked out, because little did anybody know, Ali was going to fucking turn into <laughs> Muhammad I'm Hard <laughs> Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah. And fucking hit the Ali shuffle, having never was, watched an Ali fight. So money, did you, bro. Did you hear he's never watched an Ali fight? Yeah. That that's was just so, him on reflex. Boom. He's oh, just, that's yeah. an actual boxing shuffle? I yeah, thought yeah, he was yeah. just... It's not, Muhammad Ali used to do a lot of what he did. Oh, I, I was surprised. I didn't think it actually helps the boxing. Yeah. Even, it's not. It's, 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 it's no, it's reflex. It's showboating, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, It's like taunting. Yeah, yeah. He okay, did it. He taunted a lot. He he taunted when he like did the swing too. Also, his opponent was like a last minute fill, like no offense. Who had a chin? Was incredibly, which was dude, crazy. He outperformed. Was dope. So, so he that's, was I loved that's everything. That's the he first did. part of that. Yeah, now the okay. second part is, Lud came back to me and was like, "We'll find you a different opponent." And I was like, "Oh, great!" And the day that Lud came back and was like, "You have to basically sign your intent," was the day I had a panic attack. Oh and shit! And it was the first and only time oh, I've had a, a panic attack. And it was because I went into a show that I was supposed to do with Twitch, and we were a week to air, and they didn't have a set and they didn't have costuming, and they didn't have any idea, and they didn't have any segments. The only thing that they had done Twitch? was, no was way. sell an yeah. hour of ads against a two-hour show, cool. and oh, no. almost all of them were American Eagle. Yeah. And, oh. I, and the motto was, I think it was young and fit. I feel That's like high. I, I, I And I pain. looked at them, and I was like, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> Says American Eagle. So I literally, I, week to air, left this meeting, and I had a full blown like, I can't do this. I don't have time to do this. I can't do this. And I called. You had a lot going on on there. I had a lot. At the time, I, this though. is when I had G four. This is when I was hundred thief stuff 100 too. Hundred thief stuff. I was doing a ton of shit. So I called my manager. Do the podcast. And I, was like, I was like, I gotta pull out of this. So twenty minutes after I had that conversation, I got a call from Lud, and he's like, Hey, Bud, we need you to commit today. And I'm like, Lud, I, I got to be honest with you. I had a panic attack twenty minutes ago. I can't commit to this now. And he was I, like, You're dead to me. Yeah, no, he was so no, gracious and so nice. Sweet. And, uh, I, you know, I would be happy to, to do chess boxing in the future. You can tell a lot. Would you do of, like creator clash if you had, yeah. had an opponent? If it wasn't Ali. Dude, yeah. I, I, yeah I, you're, you're just afraid and that's cowardly. I am afraid of Ali. But beyond that, I, I, I don't know. I've always had a very, he knows. I, I have like a very weird, almost like, I would call it parasocial attachment to him where like he really does feel like a, a young Ali friend, is our child. No, no, he's not just I, our friend. He's our child. That's that's Aww. what I'm saying. He, he feels like my little brother in so many ways. It's and funny. I feel the same way about him. Yeah. Like, uh, and for me to go in there and just beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> that'd be epic. I see. Well, I think that makes sense. He, I mean, the first time he did anything like literally physical was with us during yeah. COVID. Yeah. And I was like, bro, you have an insane frame. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You're just like wasting it playing And then he video went home games. and he was like, Kassan just kept talking about my frame and how beautiful it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. No. I to measure my skull. No, <laughs> yeah. at the time, no, at the time people were like saying like, oh, that's like weird, dude. You're saying like a black dude is like genetically gifted. Like, I was like, no, dude, no. I, I know what a fucking athlete he's, looks yeah, like. He's built like Sauce Gardner. He's, yeah. He's like tall and his wingspan is Lanky, his, he has a yeah. wingspan of a six foot four person. Yeah, he's... Like, he, he is an incredible wingspan, and also, he was, like, relatively coordinated, too. 
which he demonstrated, I think, on F- on that F- ring. Yeah, but that's the full sauce it. behind the boxing. Oh, I, I really, I'm going to be honest, it is something that I felt for probably two weeks afterward, I felt tremendous guilt about oh. having to say no to Ludwig. Everyone because I, out. I wrote, oh. no, but I, I, I've never felt guilty about that. Let no, me tell that's, you. That's, that's, I think that is that's very fair. That's not me. I never back out of things. Yeah. And I'm, I have so much respect for what Lud does and his, and his product that I was just like, damn, man, I, I let him down. Boo. No, don't <laughs> worry. He's incapable of feeling let down. No, nah, that's not That true. is not true. That's not true. He, it is hard to get, his, uh, to get his emotional core, though. It's getting harder and harder. Even though he has a chest hole. What, what's up? So the more he moguls up, the more the harder it is. You He's think? Just he. It's yeah. He hardens. I always. I like have. I wonder pond. that. I wonder that a lot. What's up? I've thought about that a lot. In general. About Ludwig, yes. This is actually. This is literally something I've thought about. I'm like, he's way too fucking nice. Like he is way too. There's got to be a dark side. I think to no. It. I think he's a very nice person. I love him. I love him to death. Beautiful human. But I'm always like, he's. He can't be this confident. No, he is. He it, is. So way back in the day when he was like a he's like aloof. viewer Andy. It's not aloofness. He just has like a brain that was kind of built for like, I remember I asked him once, I was like, doesn't it piss you off when like YouTube comments are fucking mean to you? Like, doesn't that get to you? He's like, no. And I'm like, how? He's like, I don't know. They probably just like want to be my friend. Like they're, they're probably really nice in person. And I'm like, you're just That's crazy. Brain rot. Yeah. That's he, crazy. He is, his mind is literally a fortress built for being big. It's it's really interesting. I've thought about it a lot as yeah. someone close to him. I think I'm on the opposite too. I was I was built for it in the opposite way because I love seeing the nasty shit. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't. I look at it, but I don't like looking Ooh, at it. But I, I like, do look at it. I look at it so much. Just like, like yeah, picking tell a me cut. more. Yeah, no, literally. I'm like, yeah, just I scab. Say, I say exactly. Reading, like reading TikTok comments is like my new self harm. No, like, you know, yeah. like I, I do it. Yeah. 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 I do it yeah. so much. I do it so much, dude. It is like misogynistic, racist, transphobic. I'm like, what? Like they're inventing new phobias over there for me. I'm like, fucking shit. I didn't know I had all these things in me, but I love it. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm the same. Wait. I feel like that's just human nature. Like, yeah, that's the. Want to read more into that weird but thing I don't think you'd... about yeah. Ludwig is that he. He's weird because he, he's like, it's like he's had years of therapy, but he hasn't because it's like something like, oh, I learn about projecting now. And it's like, well, Slime probably hates Dave Gruel because he never wrote You Are My Hero. And oh my God. Dave, wow. Dave Gruel is really funny. <laughs> hey, I want, I have a question. That was a good, was a good deflection. About she, that was cutting. I have a question I want to <laughs> ask was mean. about. I think it's a shit song. It doesn't hurt me. Oh, wait, it's I a actually, shit song. But no, 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 no. That, that was a joke. That was a joke. Uh, but like, Ludwig sees like the way people are mean or whatever, and he's just like, yeah, they're just not happy with themselves, and it literally, like, literally, but it's like obviously, but that is true. Yeah, that's but it still hurts. Yeah, but it's just it's just weird that he's so good at talking himself out of going down any sort of rabbit hole. Yeah, I I have a question I want to ask about this, but I want to put it behind the paywall because it's a little spicy. Um, Well, guess what? It's actually time for that anyway. Regardless, thank you guys so much. To our wonderful guests, thank yes. you for watching, everybody. Where can people find all of you, please? Uh, you can Slim. find me on Botez Live. Uh, I play chess a lot. I've recently just boxed. Um, had a great fight with uh, her name was Dina. So uh, you'll see me. Uh, you see me around. Yeah, she hit you a lot harder than I thought. Yeah, you well, I don't. I, look I, good. <laughs> <laughs> she, she knocked a she knocked a weave right off my head. Yeah, it's crazy. What Slime, about you? you look great. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. No, yeah, the guests today were really great. I think Will Neff was the guest. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> Just gonna load that up. Okay, <laughs> all right. No, she Loaded she's got daggers. There. Um. I'm Cutie Cinderella, and I'm not a host of this yet. <laughs> She's lying. Hey, I'm Will Neff. I've been fucking usurped as a host. Go follow my YouTube. <laughs> and I'm Hassan Piker. And if you want to check out the more juicy stuff behind the paywall, that is going to be at patreon.com slash fear oh, and so juicy. Ooh, we are going to get like nice with it. It's like a steak and it's juicy steak. Yeah. yeah. Juicy steak. Are we behind the wall? All right. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you, know, you gotta You're share. You're like, wow, my colon I, is great. Like, if it's like one big I long log, like you gotta Wait, share. So, I, I still have to ask after you refused to mush the poo, were you dropped from the frat? No. Uh, he made it in. Blood, what, sweat, and tears. Like, I think like they appreciated when it pokes, the moxie. Okay.
Like, when it when it pokes out of the water, you gotta yeah, take a like a long. Yeah, if it's like a like long a one, you gotta. If it pokes out of the water, that's like. What's up, a guys? Proud. Welcome to Fear and <laughs> <laughs> Paywall. Yeah, that's really a proud moment. A lot of this, that's a, this dude,